real television. So I ended up using like a camcorder and all that. It has regular NTSC video that you have from a regular TV set. Um, and then right here I'm just using this small flat panel TV set and well it's hard to see the stations because of sunlight the way it is. And um, I get on a local station. Well, so much for that. Anyway, but what the advantage about doing this, unlike like an online, is that if you ever watch video that's a streaming video of a computer as compared to what you see on a TV set, with a streaming video, okay, got to make sure the IPs are set up, and if you've got flat, if it requires a flash plug-in, well, then you got to deal with that. Whereas here, you set up the TV and it just runs, and you can have it run forever. It doesn't drop out unless you have an equipment failure. So it has that advantage to where it just keeps going on for hours on end. Now, when at the San Jose Grand Prix, one of the applications that we did for amateur television is the um, the race officials wanted to view the, the the footbridge that was you know it's crossing. They wanted to make sure we don't have uh, crowds, you know, converging in. So what we set up was an antenna. These are just various pictures I took. Uh, here's our transmitter set up on top of the St. Clair Hotel. Here's another picture of one of the broadcast guys with his camera. Uh, let me put to where I can get a picture of our... So it kind of explained the basics of how this all works. And uh, So this is your antenna right here. How, how much does something like this cost to, uh, to buy or make or well, Where'd you get it from? Say, um, okay, how much does it cost? Well, let's start off with. I'm not going to include the price of a camcorder sure. we'll because everybody has those. We're techies. Come on. This right here, the transmitter, is uh, $350. The transmit antenna is $150. So now you're talking $500. Is that Cable, just for the that, that's for just the equipment, and you put it together yourself? Well, yeah. Uh, but then again, there's other things you need to use. Now, for the antenna, the, the coax between your transmitter and your antenna, that could become expensive. Like this piece right here was probably $20, but if you want something longer, you might end up having to pay about $80. You want to use the highest of quality coax, because when you're talking 1.2 gigahertz, or, you know, 1200 megahertz, uh, cheap coax does not work. It's just too lossy, so you have to spend a lot of money um, for this. Oh, go ahead and grab a flyer if you want. And you're saying the range uh, for broadcasting would be about this how far? This is basically the South Bay area. I would put it at that. It's hard to say. Um, it could probably be up to 20 miles if you have a like a good Fairly line flat of, area. It's, it's the line of sight you need. If there's no obstacles, obviously if I'm in a forest or in the middle of cities with is trees and buildings, yes, that's a directional antenna. Which direction? So the Yagi, it's aimed towards the east foothills to our... Oh, so that's directional. Hmm? Do they make an omnidirectional? East foothills of San Jose? Yeah. Oh, anyway, I actually, someone was here with a compass. I ended up thinking that it was there, but it turns out it's really over there. That's where our repeater is. So this technology is basically kind of off like the ham radio. Uh, same, same, um, same type of idea. Here it is, or let's do this. But it's except for you're doing video broadcast. You might not be able to view this, but I'll show you this. This right here, um, maybe you could focus in. It's kind of like a presentation I did. Okay, what is a TV? It's not webcam, cell phone cam, or anything like that. It's real television. Here's a table describing the difference between amateur television and commercial broadcast. Channel five. Okay, what kind of people do we have on ham radio? Well, we have people like myself, uh, W2NYC, and all these other ham people. Broadcast, these are people like Carolyn, KPIX, uh, KQED, CNN, Fox, etc. What is the transmission mode? Both of us use NTSC. Uh, what do we use to receive? Consumer type TV set, both of us. The difference come in. What kind of transmission equipment do we use? Well, usually a 100 milliwatt to 30 watt transmitter. They have like a 500 to a 5,000 watt transmitter. Um, our equipment is. So like what's to stop you from uh, getting some an antenna with like in, like incredible boost to? Uh, oh, money. So it's it's not a problem with regulations. It's just a matter of money no, and building. No, because what we do is that we operate on on amateur radio frequencies. Um, and you said that was only, there's only one channel, just channel 57. Uh, well, there's also channel 58. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, if you look at, um, here's 
kind of a, an overview on how it gives an example of how you could receive um, our television station using a consumer you know TV set. You always ask like on cable TV how do they get so many cable channels? Well they do that because they use frequencies of other radio services and when we see on this chart on like on cable channel 57 hey it turns out it falls right on an amateur radio frequency. Same thing for cable channel 58, 59, 60, etc. So which one's the frequency you're talking about? Okay, the one that we were using was this one right here, 421. Mm -hmm. That's our downlink frequency, so anyone can view that. Now, uh, 427.25, that's the Mount Diablo amateur television group. And they have their transmitter on Mount Diablo. So each group gets their own frequency? Yeah, it's kind of like coordinated to make sure, you know, obviously it's like a regular two-way radio, you know, something like this. You don't want everybody operating on the same frequency because then they step on each other. So then you kind of organize your frequencies like so. So that's how it works. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what, uh, one last question. How, uh, what other equipment's involved in producing something? So you got your you got your video camera over here, and then you need a mic. Uh, what is this? Well, this is, that, this is just a regular mobile radio. The only reason why I have this particular style because I have this kind of microphone that I want to have like a broadcast, you know, like a broadcaster sure. like they have, right. you know, it, but you don't really need this kind of thing. But the key thing that you really have is that you have your video source, your transmitter. That's your transmitter? Your antenna. I mean, where do you yeah. buy something like this? This is, uh, this you can get, uh, it's from a, uh, Video Links is the name of the company, and their webpage is transmitvideo.com on that. So okay. there's also another company called PC Electronics that sells amateur television equipment. So that could be another source. So basically if you want to get involved in that is using our repeater. As I mentioned before, these are the three pieces of equipment. Video, transmitter, and the antenna. Obviously there's the interconnecting cables. To receive you need a, a TV set like so, put into the cable mode. Another mode that you can do is that you can transmit directly on UHF. And that is, uh, I did not bring it with me, but it's a transmitter that transmits directly on 427 megahertz. So you can actually transmit directly to this TV set kind of thing. Now, it does have a limited range because we're not going to a mountaintop, so it's not going to go for miles on end. So do they make an omnidirectional antenna or just... Uh, uh, yeah, they have an omnidirectional. But the reason why I use this directional antenna for my uplink is that I'm only using 2 watts from here because obviously I can go with more wattage but then I use up my battery power. See this whole station I'm operating operates off this gel cell right here. So what you see almost, for me, I'm completely independent of whatever infrastructure <laughs> no kidding. we have. I don't need... So you can actually go solar if you want to on a day like this. Well, no? not really. You need some, <laughs> a lot of solar panels. Alright. So. Cool. Well okay. thank you. Alright. Thanks for the presentation.